Hey friends, welcome back. It's another tarot reading for Wednesday, February 9th. Nailed it. Okay. We're just going to get right into it, see what the tarot has to say. I like this new combo, the dream deck with the Gothmancy. Um, the Gothmancy deck, um, sorry, the book for this deck is really juicy and, and full of a lot of great details that I haven't even begun to... Uh, really fully appreciate um but this is how we learn just learn just use it do the readings see what comes up elements reverse dancing laughter in reverse ah, okay um Dancing is the idea of like the, the your dance with the universe, understanding the flow of things, um, knowing and feeling when it feels like the right step, right? Knowing the moves, right? Versus feeling like an awkward dance. So there's a rhythm here. But there's a message also with laughter coming out in reverse. Um, someone either might be taking themselves too seriously and needs to lighten up a bit about what it is that they're doing. Elements in reverse can also indicate that there's something that's out of balance here. Um, so maybe we'll try to clarify what is the source of um, what is the source of the unbalance? Like what element can we focus on to bring us back into balance? Right? Um, earth, air, water, fire. And laughter in reverse. I mean that can also be shame, right? If you look at the card, um, it's almost like when people poke fun at something and it like yucks your yum. That's sort of what I'm feeling is, is like. Uh, but dancing is also here. So it's almost like you got to do what you got to do and not listen to what other people have to say. Because haters will hate. I don't know. Let's see what the tarot says. Four of Wands underneath. And look at this Four of Wands, by the way. If you're familiar with the traditional Rider Waite, this is the Gothmancy Four of Wands. What a social scene. So for me, these tie directly together as well. The social scene. And look at the people watching. Judging. You're getting a lot of judgy vibes out of this read. Okay, then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Jeez, I love this deck. Check this one out. Eight of Pentacles, normally depicted by like a man sitting alone, um, working on his craft with like a city in the background. And in this one, can you see it? It's a group of people. I love the moon phase. Moon phase is on it. It's a group of friends working on their craft. It's a group of witches. Goth witches in the desert. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, Emperor, Four of Cups, Nine of Wands, Strength, Five of Pentacles, Judgment. Showing up again, Judgment. Uh, King of Swords and the Six of Wands. Well, we're ending on a high note, so let's focus on that for a sec, right? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm not reading reversals yet. I'm not that familiar with this deck. The imagery of these cards I'm in love with. Look at how similar all of these are. The Four of Wands, 
Five of Pentacles. Where is it? And the Eight of Pentacles here. This is a very social feeling spread. I don't know if you are part of a new community um, or, or are often dealing with groups of people. Um, people that you work with. Where is that? Okay, I think I got it right now. Four of Wands is the card of commitment as well. So like what commitments do you currently have that um, when we when we work well with others, that could be seen as dancing. We got to dance with each other, right? It takes two. So there's sort of um, mutual commitment. And what I'm getting here is that whatever this, it doesn't have to be a work situation, but I'm, I'm really feeling like it is, if it's not a work situation, then it requires a lot of work. And so maybe you're um, feeling a little self-conscious about, um, self-conscious or, um, I don't even know, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's self, it's self-consciousness just like that, but, um, I think you want to do things a particular way and you're not really sure how to either bring it up or how to, um, get to the other side where you, you, you maybe know and feel that things could be a lot easier. Um, I think this is, it's, it's your turn to, um, step up and say something here the the king of swords is showing up strength is showing up so there's the fear right the compassion and fear also the heart space right it's something that we care about which is why you can't just you care about it or you're committed to this already um you're stuck in a situation that you feel needs to change um not because it's awful, but because there's a better way to do it. And so you want to take things into your own hands um, and show people the way. But I think that you're met with a lot of like um, resistance. Um, I don't think that other people can see what you see in terms of this vision um, or understanding So, you know, look at what the, what the needs of others are. It's sort of like a message that I'm getting. When people are looking at you and going back to this, like, judgy feeling, when people are looking at you and judging what you're doing, they have some unfulfilled needs there, you know, and um, you don't have to buy into that. I think that you can... Um, you can keep doing what you're doing, but I think just being aware of um, dynamics is important. Um, not just to get what you want, but like if you are working with groups of people and you're a leader, this is King of Swords here. If you're some sort of leader or, um, or have the capacity to lead, and maybe you need to step into that role more then you do need to know the needs of others. You need to understand what other people not only need but want out of this shared experience. That's how I'm understanding the elements card in reverse. Um, I didn't show you the art yet, but I love it. The elements... So look at all the elements of this thing that you're doing, possibly. What element is not getting enough attention? Which one has been, which one is supported? Which one is easy to work with? Which one uh, feels uncomfortable to address, right? Something is out of balance. Another message that I'm getting is that um, to approach something that maybe a lot of people just sort of want to ignore or just, like I said, I don't, 
I don't think people are ignoring it, but if this if this is resonating for you, I feel like the issue here is that people just don't understand what to do. I think that this is a situation that is difficult, not only to understand, but then to take it a step further um, to do anything about it. And so people might poke fun at that because they're afraid. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm terrified, afraid of this. But there's just like, what do we do to things that are unknown and that are beyond our control? We poke fun at it. We make fun of it. We discredit it. But I think that you can see a way. There's self-awareness here. We got King of Swords, right? Clarity, highest level of cognitive sort of function here. Also, no bullshit. King of Swords is no bullshit. Emperor, Strength, King of Swords. That's you right now. So we have Aries, Leo on the table. That's some fire energy. If we're talking about elements, lots of fire. Lots of desire to like get moving. Let's see. I mean, since the elements card showed up, let's just take a look at what elements are on the table, right? So I did say we have the fire. The four of wands is also four and six of wands. Eight and five of pentacles, the four of cups, right? So two fours. Hmm. You know, we do end on the six of wands, which is victory, right? I think by the end, you're able to see your others are able to see what you're moving towards like they can understand your moves people might look at this weird dance that you're doing and they're like what are you doing what do you mean what am I doing I'm dancing dancing is also very fluid right so you might be using water and fire and people are like how can you do both <laughs> Uh, that's steam and people honestly can't keep up with with something like steam I feel they're just like what is going on um, but somebody like that is comfortable with the unknown because you'll you'll fly off somewhere and you're not attached to the outcome you're sort of just seeing what the hell cooks up what kind of dumpling is this gonna be I know we're like way way over there now but I think you understand what I'm saying right the way to get to this victory, this is what I wanted to say, in this kind of situation is understand what, where people's doubts lie. Why they're, why they're disconnected. Why is it important for, to have these people on board? I don't know, but the cards are saying that this is a situation that involves multiple people. Okay, that's what I have for today. If it resonates, it resonates. If not, don't force it to fit. Um, thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you on the next one.